all of our parents played bridge, uh, and and I just assume that's because they didn't have Candy Crush when we were younger. Is that why? Well, f- what else are you gonna do, man? Fuck, we were playing bridge before there was cable television. There's a reason why, like in medieval times, they were cutting off people's heads. What else do you have to <laughs> fucking do? <laughs> oh yeah. It's Tuesday night, which means it's gotta be go time for Night Attack. Bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since anybody was paying attention. Hello, beautiful folks. I'm Brian Brushford, live in Austin, Texas. Joined by my inimitable co-host, sucking down the gins and the tonics all the way in Oakland, California. It's just Robert Young. What is up, J.R.Y.? What is that? What? The trademark tinkling of ice cubes from old gin and tonic gerbs famous goblet. Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Night Attack. Same thing as always. I'm in Oakland. Brian's in Austin. And I have a freshly poured gin and tonic. You changed, man. <laughs> you changed. You came back. You you, you caught the that, that, that virus that makes you pretentious. Uh, you, you caught a subscription to The New Yorker. Uh, it's, you're everything wrong with America. I reject you and and your your allegiance to King George, Brian. If you would only read the 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 post or the the subtitle on this cartoon, I'd like to show you. <laughs> then you would understand how foolish you are, Bumpkin. All right, well, here, let me take a look. Here, it's uh, it's got a a dog building the pyramids. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like uh, it looks like somebody has a tablet, and he says, "Where's the home page?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I don't. It's all there. <laughs> Why does it go like? <laughs> uh, hey, listen, guys, we have a lot of serious things to talk about here today. Number one, we're gonna play a game about Kickstarters. Number two, let's all just take a moment to realize that Brian just nailed that New York. <laughs> we need, we need to, please, for Christ's sakes, if somebody has not drawn that New Yorker cartoon and tweeted it to Brian by tomorrow, then we are in no way a show or a family. Let's take a moment there. Okay, now, also, Brian, a lot of people say a lot of things about us. Oh, do they? Yeah, they say that. You're ugly and you're <laughs> dumb and you're a real piece of dog crap and you sympathize with Hitler and I'm tired of it. Well, well golly, <laughs> I I guess uh, I should yeah. tell Maybe I should I'm write a press release saying Brian Brushwood <laughs> cheats on his taxes and Brian Brushwood has illegitimate children and Brian Brushwood is somebody that's uh, a, a mean person and kicks a dog here and again. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of that scurrilous rumor mongering. Well, I mean, I, I figured I'd fix it. I'm going to give a uh, press release announcement. We're going to have a press conference right now. Um, yeah. uh, if I can have the solo shot here. <clears throat> Go ahead. Yeah, everybody, solo shot. Uh, and now to Brian Brushwood's press conference. Thank you very much for coming this evening. It's all true. Eat shit. Yeah! <laughs> it appears as if Brian Brushman has fallen over, <laughs> therefore revealing that he's a guy. Uh, so here's the deal, Brian. A lot of people uh, you know, think that we're just here to... Uh, wait, are we doing the belt? Is the belt still a thing? Uh, sh- sure. Uh, I've had a really good run where are we the at past, on the belt? Like, Do we want to get a state of, of the belt? Doing it anymore though. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, we're we're pressing pause on the belt. We're just we're we're gonna let me be, let me be real with y'all. We're, we're gonna adults. wait. We're adults here. Yeah, we'll bring the belt back. Don't worry. We'll bring the belt back. We right, had right, to suspend right, the belt. Right. We had to suspend emergency powers. Suspend the Correct. belt because we had a lot of guests. Yeah, it, we're instituting it, suspenders, and the thing we're suspending is the belt because we don't need them. Yeah. We got these sweet suspenders now. I say it's overkill right. to suspend a belt. I mean, who wears a belt it. and suspenders? And we got these suspenders now, so it's fine. It's fine. Uh, all right. So here's the deal: people think that we're just a bunch of mischief makers, but we're not. 
that's not true. We are we we help society and 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 we're going to help society again today because, uh, uh, Brian, there is something going around that's affecting everybody. What, what, what is it? It's all this, you know, there's just a, a, a breakdown of decorum online. <laughs> we talked oh. about this last week and a lot of people emailed us and said that they appreciated that we brought it up. Wait, oh, remind me, was this about Hearthstone? Literally, like, <laughs> we talked about the fact that there's just a lot of people that like to yell at each other on the internet. Oh, Al, wait, this is about politics. Yes. Can't tell if it's a bit that you can't remember the thing that we set up like six hours ago. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, I totally could. I didn't know we were going to go straight into it. Uh, to be honest, I, I've been holding something back because uh, Bonnie Bonnie got a haircut, and uh, it's pretty rad. Can can we can we take a brief? Sure, so yeah, drink? okay, no, let's go. Yeah. So uh, uh, Bonnie agonized. <laughs> Getting your why? You why did you use this, this, as is, a, this is, to make fun? This of is me. visual storytelling. All right. <laughs> well, yeah. Why? Why? Why did you agonize so about getting a haircut? Well, because I um, last time I cut my hair this short, uh, one of my babies cried. So oh, that's right. Oh, so you had to you had to get yeah. everybody's permission. Yes. But uh, okay, so Bonnie got a haircut short. Soulful. She was also going to color it, but but you didn't go through with the color. Or you just did highlights. I did color and highlights, but I no, couldn't. It looks highlighted, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't do the color because I don't have enough time in my life to go in every couple of weeks and got it and it. get it redone. Yeah. But are you ready for here? Here's the money. Super short. Here's the money it moment. Down get ready. Here. You ready? Here it is. Uh oh, it's a diamond club shaved in the back. Woo! Wait, what? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went to a barber and like this really cool barber shop, and then they Here, do tilt, those, tilt uh, your head forward, sweetie. Oh, like this. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh my God! Look at that! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's badass. Did how how so, did that conversation go? Well, it was funny. Like I, I wrote him on the internet. I go, "Do you let girls come to your shop?" <laughs> you know, and they're just like, "Yeah, we let girls, but you have to have a man's haircut." And I was like, "That's okay." So, and then like I and then I went in, and they're like, "Well, you're a girl," and I was like, "Yeah, but I want to get it like an undercut." Like I learned the word. It's called an undercut, guys. It's called an undercut. Got and they're just like, "Oh, okay," but it has to be like a guy's, and you don't already have one. And I'm like. No, but you can do it. I read it on your website. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, hold on, wait a minute. Wait, Bonnie, I, I don't want to. I don't want to stop you here. Yeah. But, uh, uh, Brian, can you describe what an undercut is as Frank Underwood? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Uh, um, when I grew up in Gaffney, Georgia, <laughs> here was a jarhead came back from serving in North Korea. <laughs> He, he apparently was fighting for the wrong side. He came back with his hair all backwards, because they do everything backwards in North Korea. It was short on the back of his skull, and meanwhile he had long locks, and on the back of his head was sculpted a diamond. Some say it was a blood diamond, because I shot him in the middle of the diamond and blood flew out. Oh, jeez, Brian. I that murdered cool? that man. That got really <laughs> dark and weird. But now I'm then... president. <laughs> I'm Frank Underwood. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's his State of the Union. And our State of the Union is strong. Oh, uh, goodness. Goodness. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, all right. So, Peach so uh, number one, the haircut looks fantastic. Bonnie, you got to oh, post it you. somewhere so people who are only listening on audio can uh, can can see it. But yeah. uh, th th this is this is like a power move to do the, the, the diamond there. The, yeah. the diamond in the back so, sunroof top chilling on the scene with a gangster lean. Yeah. So tell me, tell me, like, what what? spurred uh, what what spurred this move did you saw you just got you got done being a mom <laughs> you're I like they're not my kids anymore like i don't know i just needed to change that hair up because every time i did it it just like drab and went doing its thing and it just was like and the color wasn't right and then and then i went on pinterest and i'm like oh and then i saw the undercut thing i go yeah with the diamonds and then i thought oh so i could have my long hair and then i could have 
the little diamond undercut, and then I could do like a little peekaboo and put it up in ponytail, and then I'd be like, oh, look. Then you just decided to chop it all off. And then I decided that, well, apparently you can't really do an undercut without like cutting the rest of your hair. And so, um, but I had also been looking at this at this bob because I got like kind of curls. So I thought like, oh, I could do kind of curly in the back and that look cool. And then, um, but also I saw oil slick. The oil what the, slick. What's what it? Hold the on. hell is that? Hold on. Wait, real um, quick. Let's take yeah. a guess. Justin, what do you guess an oil slick is? Oh, uh, I think an oil slick is where you... Uh, you have your hair parted in the middle, right, <laughs> on either right. side, and then you dip your head in crude oil. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then you just say, like, oh, is that crude oil on my head? Uh, I thought it was something. Oops. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> uh, oh. I'm, I'm going to guess it's it's kind of similar to my old haircut with the side shaved, and you just kind of roll it all over uh like so it looks like a waterfall of of dark black oil slick hair wrong uh, oh <laughs> <laughs> sorry there's another do, oil uh, uh, we were just warned not to look up oil slick uh on urban dictionary <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh no, let's see no i don't i i have not looked at that but... oh the oil slick is the iridescent it's got the colors like like yeah. when gas spills uh, out of your boat Oh, yeah. I thought she oh, was talking about slick think, back. Uh, is it Viking glass? Oh. Did Viking glass have that? Yeah, April oh, got that a little while ago. I hadn't seen that. She's had a lot of cool hair. I, you know, and I'm inspired by some of our friends of the show that have super cool hair. So, anyways, I like the oil slick, but then that takes like hours and hours out of your life, and I don't have hours and hours every couple All right, of weeks. All right, hold on. I'm looking well, at it's it. It's a good thing, Bonnie, because yeah. the uh, definition of an oil slick on uh, <laughs> Urban Dictionary is as follows. A girl or boy that your roommate insists on bringing home after the bar time, uh, after time, despite the fact that he or she hasn't showered, nor can she or he spell shower. Eventually, this clever animal, like an infectious disease, will live in your apartment, eat your food, use all your toiletries and laundry soap in a sad and unsuccessful attempt to de-slick themselves. If you are at home now, turn to your left. Now turn to your right. He or she is the one that is not your roommate. Oh, my God. That's a uh, oh. <laughs> We, uh... That might be the first time I've ever randomly read a Urban Dictionary uh, entry that wasn't like gross enough to delight me. Yeah, they uh, we called it <laughs> when, when when I was touring with uh, uh, Brooks and Dunn and Rascal Flatts and Brad Paisley. Uh, there was some night where I guess our our driver was just being fussy and wanted to get on the road. God, this this is on the tour bus because we had the the Daredevils tour bus, and uh, he was like, ah, "I'm gonna go," and then uh, and then they just left me. <laughs> And then uh, I went to one of the other uh, entertainers, uh, or Aaron Lyons, and I was just like, I think I think I just got left. And then the next morning, it had made all the rounds. At breakfast, they're all like, oil spotted, huh? I'm like, what? Oh. <laughs> like, you got oil spotted. Like, they had a word for it. I wasn't there at the time the driver said he was going, and then that's it. Boo. <laughs> Boo that, man. Yeah, anyway, so I decided to go with um, highlights and, and color and stuff. It looks good. So. It looks fantastic. Uh, all right, so where are you going to post it so people can see it? Uh, you can find it on my Twitter site. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What it is. It's great. It's, great. it's going great. I'm glad, you that, I'm glad you have that hip vernacular to go with your new solid haircut, Bonnie. Holy crap. Right, the belt's suspended. Fuck you guys. <laughs> on HTTP colon slash slash www.co. God, I, I remember like or a, just keyword new haircut on Prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> She's invisible oh. wife on Twitter, BTW. Just in case so, yeah, someone's got to say invisible wife. Invisible wife. That's where you can find her Twitter site. Yeah, my Twitter site. <laughs> so, so has anybody given you sass for it? Has Not yet. Done? Everybody's really liked it, and my kids actually were great about it. The one who cried last time I cut my hair. Actually says, oh, look, we look like Twinkies. Yeah. What's that? Which one? 
Stop protecting your daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your guess? Let's place bets. It's got to be Josie. Uh, it's Josie. Oh, <laughs> totally. It's <So> Josie. <laughs> it's Josie, man. Yeah. She was just yeah. like, boo. Actually, it was the same trip that I think Justin was there for, like when you met Justin. What? Yeah. Because I got my hair oh. cut really short. I donated it to Locks for Love. And oh. Then I, Wait, I think... like the last time that Brian did Horror Nights? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because how old was she? No, 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 no. It was before that. It was the yeah. first time he did Horror Nights. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, real quick, what is your MySpace page? Oh, yeah. I don't even. I don't, do I have also, a MySpace are you still? On Friendster. Yeah. Have a Friendster page. You guys What's are making your blog fun spot? of me. Uh, yeah. Fido.net. Do you have an email? Fine. We're just trying to figure out where your Orkut link is. <laughs> yeah. Oh. She's on Gosh. Google Plus. Uh, oh, you want to know? I'm really coming into the times, though. I am <laughs> gross. Gross. You finally <laughs> got your own <laughs> Angel Fire page. <laughs> I got a Reddit name. Oh! oh. Uh, what name? Now all the good names are taken. taken. Yeah. So you have a uh, real it, invisible wife. Oh, because well, there's a fa <laughs> modeling after our future president Donald Trump, right. who was late to Twitter, but he wanted people to know he's the real Donald Trump. Got it. Um, Why are you on Reddit? Are you searching for porn like that rascal Ken Bone? No. Wait, oh, oh, is that the oh, was one? that the controversy? I I didn't know what it was. He got, he got a little. All right, so listen, that 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 fat little tomato of joy. <laughs> oh, He's man. a fan, by the way. He's weeping right now, watching this. Aww. Oh, dude, dude is is hawking it for all it's worth. God bless him. Yeah. Anyway, so he gives he asks a question during the second debate, which I likened to uh, uh, as if you were watching that second debate, which I would compare to um, Schindler's List. <laughs> and as you see in that gray hellscape, but instead of the girl in the red coat, which is its own symbol of tragedy, you just saw Dora the Explorer walk in. <laughs> like, that was what he was to that debate. He was just a smiling ray of sunshine. Sure. Uh, and so, of course, the internet needs to pull him apart and see whether or not he really breathes. And uh, they find his Reddit history while he's doing an AMA and uh, find comments that he made about the Trayvon Martin uh, uh -oh. uh, stuff. And uh, and also, apparently, he was a part of a few porn subreddits. But to be fair, like, I don't know. I, I don't think it was really even all that bad, any of the stuff that he said. It's like, yeah, he was into pregnant lady porn. And he, he also That's like all. apologized for That's the Trayvon so Martin sweet. thing. He like he responded to it very well in a way that literally nobody else is possible uh, is capable of doing this year. Yeah. But, well, I mean, he didn't even say anything weird about the Trayvon. I mean, well, he said he said basically it was weird that out of context. I think legal. Yeah. That that legally it was justified. Which I don't know if anybody else watched the trial. That was what the court came to the conclusion of whether or not you agree with it or disagree with it. I think he was just saying that guy was, he, he called George Zimmerman a shit bird and uh, said that, yeah, that they were, it was an awful situation and that's the end of that. But no, apparently he's the worst person on the planet. Oh, I think he represents a lot of America. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Who also yeah. likes pregnant lady porn. He no. called pregnant lady that's porn kind of nice. that, they were beautiful submarines. <laughs> what? Because they were carrying little people. Ew, now that gets I... a little weird. <laughs> no, no, I hadn't really thought about it. Uh... Wow, we turned it on Ken Bone. Ken Bone, you were all willing to give a pass to Ken Bone on a Trayvon Martin opinion. But so as is soon that as like... you hear that he called pregnant women beautiful submarines, <laughs> record scratch, like, <laughs> yup, that's me. Bet you're asking how I Wait, got here. Is that like neonatal pedophile that's hard to say <laughs> man no he's he's not attracted to the unborn fetus okay i just just want to get that out there <laughs> he's like, he's like, i just want to be like very clear is that what got weird if only like, that busted old bitch would get out of the way for the <laughs> real meat no he likes like well, I don't know. It was something about the submarine thing. The way Justin said it sounded really weird, but mm. 
So what, was, I mean, listen, I don't know. You can go read. Everybody can read what he said. Oh, okay. You know, it's on Reddit. He hasn't run away from it. No, oh, good for him. Okay. <laughs> what, what was the bit we were setting up again? <laughs> we're skipping it. We're skipping the politics thing. Okay. We've just got. We've gone too far. Let's let everybody know that patreoncom slash night attack is where you can support this show. Uh, here's the deal. If uh, you don't pay us money, we'll hate you. Um, <laughs> I mean, we'll all hate you. We'll just be sorely disappointed in, in you, but not as much as we'll be disappointed in ourselves. Just understand this, that every time you go to give us money for the first time, you can see a video where Brian and myself don't look anything like we do now. It's comical. Number one, I don't know what Dvorak was talking about because you've gotten more or you've gotten farther away from looking like a lesbian than mm. you do in that video. Mm. I think it's the 10 pounds I put on since then. Mm. Oh, wait, no, you look fatter in the video. Are you kidding me? Really? Yeah. yeah oh, definitely. God, yeah. Definitely. That's so weird. Mm -hmm. No, your head looks gigantic in that video. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 you look that all the time. smooth and attractive, <laughs> and you have a, a very muscular chin. <laughs> yeah, no, I have, I have, I have a, what, what, what they now call in the business a James Elworth chin. Like, that's a, that's a thing. What's, what's a James Elworth chin? Uh, uh, just Google James Elworth. <laughs> all right, let me Find type out. it. Hold on. Let me do uh, James uh, Elworth. Ellsworth? Yeah. <clears throat> hey, so I got a question. Uh, did you get... Uh, I see what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> the, uh, uh, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a man with a, a very compacted chin face <laughs> motion. But I, I'll tell you what, the beard is very flattering in that regard. It really does. You look like you oh, have a, no, super, it turns a superman out, chin. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, 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 I'm better off with the beard. I was actually... Uh, threatening to Ashley that I was going to shave <laughs> it. I was, I was threatening my wife. Uh, if if she didn't pick up the, those dishes, I was going like, to let her have hey, it. You listen here. <laughs> um, I'll shave it. I'll, I'll give it an old shave if you don't listen to my words, woman. <laughs> <laughs> Not the old shave a boss. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know why you make me call you boss in this partnership for life. We're really into we're we're really into Harley Quinn role playing. That's what. Yeah, it's old Harley Quinn and the guy who threatens to shave his beard role play that we're in against his really oh, golly, hot Justin. I'll do anything. I'll do the dishes. Just don't shave your beard. Is it weird that I'm getting a boner? Like just <laughs> is that weird? Is it weird now? Okay. The uh, it's the equivalent of getting a hard on for uh, for Bugs Bunny dressed as a chick, right? Oh. Uh, sure, yeah, that too. Are they equivalent or just similar? I mean, I mean well, I guess one is also is bestiality. Anyway, Night Attack can be supported <laughs> over at patreon.com slash night attack. Did you know that, Justin? Yeah, man, you know what's great about that is uh, you get the pre show, you get the after show, you get a uh, Get all sorts of stuff. At some point, Brian and I are going to stop being in different countries or lazy and, and actually move with these album tracks. Uh, but listen, it's time to get on it now. Uh, now is the time. <laughs> if, if the time was any time, the time would be now. <laughs> and go. And subscribe. Yeah. And go. Oh, you know what? You want to play our favorite game real quick? Sure, yeah. All right, hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So what uh, uh, Brian is looking in his email right now for... The most recent, not not necessarily. Oh, not necessarily the most recent, but a recent Patreon subscriber over at patreon.com slash night attack. Yeah. You know and what? We got a little treat for them. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one. This one's Actually, not. You want to know what price? Can you do me a favor? Whenever sure. we get to this point in the show, can you maybe like be the announcer? Like this is a bit. Like, like maybe like we could have a sounder and just be like, and now and like so now like normally it's Brian and I talking back and forth. But you just like like just. Come in, so because this is my favorite part, but we always forget it because we're assholes. If you could just like set it up and be like, "No, this is the time where we yell a random patron, a recent patron's name." Oh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, uh, by the way, this is a good right, one. So here, try it out. Try it out right now, okay, Bryce. Right, right. Set it up like like a, like a big, you know, a big uh, intro. Sure, sure, sure. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack. New Patreon name chant corner <laughs> hour. It's an hour of it. <laughs> uh, all right. Of name chanting. <laughs> In this corner. <laughs> All right, somewhere out there, probably riding a stationary bicycle while yeah. he plays Civilization Revolution 1.0 because 2.0 takes up too much resources and is more tedious and you have to... Uh, Are you uh, just uh, going to uh, give us your own name? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just assuming this is a shared experience. But meanwhile, somebody's just like, and meanwhile, a bunch of people are like, oh man, I wonder if it's going to be me. Well, that's <laughs> the case if you're listening, Remington Meeks. Remington Meeks. Wait, have we done this before? No, but Remington Meeks is the best name on the planet. Are we sure we haven't done Remington Meeks I before? I swear we haven't. Remington Meeks, Remington dude. Remington Meeks. Remington Meeks. Remington Meeks. Remington Meeks. Remington, Remington Meeks. Remington Meeks. Remington Meeks. Remington 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 Meeks. <laughs> so I bet I bet he's in the middle of shooting clay pigeons. Yes. Uh, he's got a giant mustache. And, and he's, he's just, playing this episode on a gramophone. Yeah, yes. And he's yeah, like, it's Remington Meek. And then uh, the the butler comes over. And goes, oh, sir, they're chanting your name on the gramophone again. I'm sad we're not going to have another one. So we have a boy, and we can name him Remington. That Remington Meek. Amazing. Name. No, we already we already decided if it was a boy, it was going to be Baxter Thunderbrush. Not now that I've heard the name. Remington. Oh. No, I think that wins out. Maybe we can get a grandkid. Hey, I think we got some more chanting oh. to do. No, Remington Meeks has had enough. He's <laughs> done. It, it was kind of him to double his pledge. And for that, we truly Hey, wait a minute. You. Hold on. Wait a minute. Do, do you want do you want to try to just chant Remington Brushwood just to see what it just to see what it sounds like? Eh, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not going to I I don't know if you missed I'm the memo, try to but get, I'm going to try to get those balls turned back on by the <laughs> yeah. end. Of the day. Hey, Bonnie will not thank you if your chanting magically makes these <laughs> no, work no, again. No, no, no. no, <laughs> That's no. It. I don't think uh file a petition. File a petition. Why are that you guys scared of this? Back on <laughs> like, <laughs> like like I don't even I'm, I'm like <laughs> it's it's There's it's a, like a point I'm three, superstitious, man. It's point zero three percent chance that it could happen, and that's enough for me what? to be terrified. Yeah. <laughs> No, we we've been living in a delightful fantasy that everything's fine, and I want to stay there. <laughs> Sorry, Remington Brushwood. No, I can't. I can't have a son with a with a manlier name than me. I can't. Mm, you know. Oh, would you have? Would you feel challenged by that? Yeah, that's why I look. I intentionally, I by hand, I sorted all my <laughs> sperm to yeah. make sure I'd have girls. Do you realize how much how tedious that was? I mean, okay. I remember. <laughs> you know, like, I fell asleep with him picking at my back. <laughs> I mean, it would be weird if it's like you you make love to your wife and then she wakes up and you have chopsticks inserted into her. <laughs> and I, I've got jeweler's <laughs> spectacles on and I, I'm looking like like I'm a Star Wars creature. He's like, oh, one at a time. Oh, you won't do. I it. know. Yeah, you got you got you got those those Maz Kanata. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I like to imagine that you have a fun little Disney song to it as well. It's just like, like boys are gone and girls stay put, and boys are gone and girls stay put, and boys and boys and boys and boys and boys, but girls stay put. <laughs> uh hmm. So anyway, we're playing a game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. What what names would you consider to be more manly than Brian, and which are less manly than Brian? Uh, any it's got to have two syllables, right? Uh, okay, three, so three, everybody three just put boys' names in the chat, and we'll just find out more or less manly. Big Jim <laughs> nailed it. Uh, Butch is Bonnie's dad's name. Yeah. And he's as manly as they come. This is true. Gotcha. Michael, Jack, Edward, bam. Uh, Earl Dicko is pretty manly. Hawthorne is pretty Dicko? manly. Is Dicko? So wait, Dicko <laughs> Brushwood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but D Dicko Brushwood. Uh, uh, I, I think I, I, I always like the name uh, Reginald because you can call him Rex. 
I think Rex is a good oh, name. Oh, no, that is Rex good. is a good name. Rex and FX. <laughs> Did anyone ever try to do a sketch? <laughs> this is, wow. This is, I was thinking about uh, during the Barack Obama candidacy. Like, uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> it, was, it was a big deal. Uh, uh, you know, with him being our uh, on on deck to be our first uh, African American president, but I for some reason I thought it would be a great sketch, and this is why I probably don't write sketches. But if they were um, uh, like, <laughs> like, all right, these... walk, walk us walk us through it. Set the scene. Set the scene. Right. So let's say a picture Santa Live style. Uh, uh, Barack Obama shows up in you know in uh, uh, his suit and tie and everything, and uh, and the crowd goes wild because it's actually Barack Obama. And so so just it's like... on it's on the 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 set like for the monologue. Yeah. No. 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 This is like this is like a, at a, at a a um, uh, image agency. How about that? Public image a agency or whatever. Gotcha. Got okay. PR. So there's uh, secretaries around and then sure, uh, sure. And, and he's nice like, haircut. yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like, uh, I'm Barack Obama and I'm here because uh, I was told that you could help increase my chances of leading this country to uh, to greatness. And uh, and he's like, uh, yeah, listen, the whole. You know, you're just real urban or whatever, <laughs> like all, all of the <laughs> the stuff. He's like, listen. Oh, inner city. Uh, Isn't yeah, that what they kept saying? You know, well, and so and so <laughs> then then the idea would be this lousy uh, uh, image consultant would suggest that you know we can't change your name without anyone noticing, but we can change the way we say it because you're you're Barack, right? He's like, yeah, well, yes, I'm Barack Hussein Obama. It's like, all right, we're not gonna say the H word again. It's like now nah, you're you're. Barry Obama, and then and then you start like you did like a hilarious montage of him trying to get him to speak with an Irish accent and pass himself off as as your black as Irish Irish as yeah. an Irish guy, uh... yeah. So anyway, uh, that was an idea I had eight years ago that never came to pass. Hmm. Barry Obama. No? Topical humor is what we like to bring you here. Although I'll tell you what, considering the fact that Donald Trump's apparently bringing his half brother from Kenya to the next speech, apparently everything that's old is new again. As far as like you know, the 08 campaign. So who knows? <laughs> All right. Speaking of campaigns, mm -hmm. we're gonna analyze uh, right now on the eve of our friend Jaime Ruiz's Kickstarter campaign, looking oh. like it's about to be funded. We're gonna yep. go back to Kickstarter. And see uh, some of the uh, some of the other uh, other stuff. By the way, if you haven't seen it, uh, make sure to check out Hollow Vect on Kickstarter. It's inches from funding. Might even fund yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick, just so just so everybody can see it. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. Uh, holographic there, vector here, hit, display. Hit play because uh, it, it, it displays uh, 3D images in space. Uh, hit play because I'm sure we're gonna see we're gonna see some 3D images. Uh, and go and. Let's see some 3D images. Holographic vector display, and it is a volumetric display system. This is, the, the, I mean, there, there's 3D images. images in the air with <laughs> there's light. 3D images coming. This is, oh, actually, that was faster than I remember. Pause, pause, pause. I'm sorry. I, I was given Jaime uh, uh, sass because even though it's doing really, really well and the images are awesome, I'm like, I'm like dude, when I click go, I just want to see 3D stuff immediately. Which he does. Yeah, look at that, man. I'll tell you what, that is the money shot right there. Yeah. Is uh is just watching them float there in space and slowly rotate. Uh so yeah, no, go ahead and check it out. Uh it is a modern marvel, and you should be a part of history. Uh just got featured in the Verge today, by the way. Holograph saw that Ooh, as, nice. as as like a trend piece, just talking about how like uh, apparently holographic uh, displays are a thing now. Uh it was, all right. It was, it was fun. So, like but, you know, not all these campaigns, you know, can be as successful as high maze. You know, some of them are uh, struggling. Some of them are doing well. But it is up to us, the Kickstarter sniffers. <laughs> the Kickstarter <laughs> sniffers? Is that, our, is that our new detective agency? <laughs> yep. And our tagline is... <laughs> smells like money. Yes. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. You had a better one. Smells yeah. like money. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the same guy who came up with Barry Obama? <laughs> I tell you, man, it's a mixed bag. You never know. <laughs> I'd like to remind you, you opened that can of worms. I've heard that bag doesn't work at all. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, um, 
we are uh so so what well what is the deal here bryce so this is actually a a bit that uh our friends waffleophagus and curtis larock uh came up with uh and they they mentioned it to us a few weeks ago while they were in town uh we've we've pulled together a couple of kickstarters from reddit uh reddit's shitty kickstarter subreddit um and we're gonna basically what we're gonna do is uh we have different campaigns here and what you guys are going to do you you both will be able to guess uh each round what the uh the campaign was asking for in terms of how much money they were asking for how much money they have earned or did earn and what the price of their product is uh before before we find out. So it's yeah. basically a version of Price is Right with shitty Kickstarters. Right. Uh, uh, but we're not doing Price is Right rules. We're going to do closest rules. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, we've got our first one here. I'm going to try to read it. Um, why did my thing turn off? Uh, okay. So here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it before I show you two. This is called Crato Beard Accessories. Designed for an individual who, who wants to not only stand out of the crowd, but also ahead of the crowd. If this is you... Cradle will perfectly resonate with your inner desire for uniqueness. Cradle's first collection presents a new product in the men's jewelry line, Jewel for the Beard. Uh, Wait, can we? Yeah, we video? don't get to see pictures uh, or I'm, nothing. I'm or? trying to make this work without spoiling everything. Because uh, 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 my laptop turned off. Uh, oh, got uh, it, got uh, it, very, got uh, it. An unfortunate moment. Um, All right, here. Can, let, 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 let's, let, let's do this one. Oh, here we go. Here we I'll, go. I'll do it. Oh my, oh my god. Goodness. Cradle beard jewelry. So it's like the first thing you look at <clears throat> is, is the quality of the video. Oh no. A kiss begins with beard jewelry? I guess. Oh. It's a, it's a thing you twist in. And then twist in your beard. Looks so like a little thing right in your beard. Oh my God! Look at all this! Oh, look at all the designs! <sighs> all right, I'm gonna say they're asking for. <laughs> I'm gonna say they're <laughs> asking like for. He just twisted it all like you know. <laughs> I'm gonna say they're oh, asking for. All right, I only have one way to describe this to people who are only listening to it. <laughs> it's like, do you want to be a cunty Gandalf? <laughs> cunty Gandalf. <laughs> The Cundy Gandalf maker. Uh, I'm going to guess that they're asking for $9,000, and I'm going to guess they've gotten $600, and I'm going to guess that they sell it for uh, $40 a unit. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, this, I'm realizing that's a lot of data to hold yep. on to. Uh, I, I was kind of surprised that these were the rules we were given. <laughs> let's, let's do... Uh, uh, let's just do funding. We'll we'll do we'll do two per each. Let's just do the. Well, funding. we can, we can just do the funding. I, I uh, or yeah. like no, they're no, asking no, what let, they let, got. Uh, what what right. they're asking for. That's, let's that's just what stick to saying. what they're asking. Well, for, no, no, no. Right? I, I, I I'll say they're they're asking nine thousand. I think they got about six hundred dollars. All right, Justin, I'm going to say they are asking for lower than nine thousand. I, I think they're asking for. <laughs> see this five thousand. Well, see, th th this is gotten fifteen hundred. This is this is why the Price is Right rules exist. Is because your smartest tactical move is to say eight thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars, unless he thinks it's over. Uh, in which case, he would say nine thousand and one. <laughs> and so, all of a sudden, he. Uh, it, it, would it, you like to do Price is Right rules? It's I I, I felt like because there's okay then. Uh, you want to do I, I, I'm fine, which it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You know, I mean, you, you, okay. Uh, so they are asking for $7,713. Oh, no, Brian's closer. But they got $10,526. Yeah. So you both get a point on that uh, uh, because Justin said 1500 That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not shocked. I, I I really only, and this is my uh, 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 lack of knowledge with these subreddit shitty Kickstarters uh, that I didn't know. I thought that they were all kind of synonymous with failed Kickstarters, so I assumed that it was way underfunded. But it does not shock me that this is like overfunded. Like this, people buy this crap, man. Like no, like, there's there is no doubt that if I walk into the mission tomorrow. 
that I will not see something like this. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Our next one is called Don't Tie. Don't Tie. Don't like, Tie. Let us change the shoe game together. I'm going to show you some, some of these pictures here. <laughs> Culturally, we have come to believe that shoelaces are just a part of our shoes, that they are more than just an option. They are, however, just that, an option. They are something that can be changed, something that can be improved upon. At Don't Tie, we are making it our mission to do so. We refuse to take shoelaces at face value. We want something. Uh, we want something better. We want something more. The Don't Tie. What? What? What is it? From what I can tell, it's a little loop that you put into the inside of your shoe, so they are less likely to get loose. Uh, huh? Or you? So, so you basically, don't... so you so you bring them to the appropriate uh of uh, uh, foot binding <laughs> and, and so Love you don't it. have to tie right. them got it I, so I think. basically like um uh it seems to me like you, have, you ever get a pair of shoes where it's like you get them tied just the right tightness and then you're able to always put them on and take them off without uh, bothering to retie them sure. you know uh it seems like it's that only they're tucked inside and they're little locks that lock that lock place. them in, lock yeah. them into place. Right. I, I, I like. I don't know why this is on shitty Kickstarter. I'm kind of into this. I might back this campaign. I think By the way, Gorzin says in the chat room, uh -huh. "Is tying that hard?" Yeah. You want to ask that question? You're asking a question that is, uh, 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 you know, the the standing in the way of all progress ever. Oh no, we don't need a computer in our pocket. We got one on our desk. Is going to your desk computer so hard? Beep, pop, boop. Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, and I think part of I'm I, all for this. I think also part of the reason this was on here was because it sounds like it's not fully. There's not fully a product here. By uh, the way, and, and the idea I is like, just I literally like a ring, has, a plastic <laughs> ring. Sorry, go ahead. This segment has already convinced me that we need to do our own version of uh of the potato what is salad the, Kickstarter the Shark Tank. Oh, oh, Shark Tank. Yeah. yeah. We need to do Kickstarter Shark Tank where we just, <laughs> without solicitation from them, are just like, yeah, I'm giving this $50. Right <laughs> now. I agree. Uh, all right. So, all right, so Justin, what's your guess? You're going to start uh, what the funding goal and the funding amount are. I think the funding goal is $6,000. And I think that it has gained six thousand and one dollars. Okay, Brian. Uh, I think the funding goal is like three thousand dollars, and I bet it got twenty dollars. All right, the funding goal was fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which is Justin's point. But they've only earned one hundred and twenty-two dollars, which is Brian's point. <laughs> wow! Oh my God. These cost ten dollars. <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. Wow. oh my God! Don't I mean, they tie. just launched. They just launched the don't tie. They did. I have faith in the don't tie. I don't know if I have fifteen thousand dollars worth of faith, but I have faith in the don't tie. Well, That's the thing amazing. Is, the thing is, is like just to get something manufactured, they're like, "Hey, we want to make this thing," and they're like, "Yeah, that'll be fifteen thousand dollars," and they're like, "That's what we'll ask." <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I, I right? guarantee you. Right? It's just like, well, how much would it cost? Yeah, no, they, they yeah. we made a phone call. Yeah, got the guys. I don't know. Maybe they made a couple of phone calls. <laughs> All right, here is our next product. This is. Earth's Purity Natural Hair Growth Oil. Oh, our yeah. product is help to our product is made to help create a healthy scalp for the promotion of hair growth and thickness. Although there are many products in this market that can help with the issue, a lot of them are chemical based. After seven years of researching the best of all natural essential oils for best for hair growth and finalizing a formula for two years, I have created Earth's Purity Hair Complete No Earth's Purity Complete Hair Growth Oil. Uh, Brian, oh, no, you're... no, no chemicals in this, huh? No That's crazy. How no do they? Uh... <laughs> no, no chemicals. No chemicals. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, so, Brian, you're up first. What do you think they uh, asked for, and what do you think they got? This has a douche nozzle written all over it. <laughs> I'm gonna say they were asking for twelve thousand dollars, and I'm gonna bet 
I, 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 I would like to believe humanity is uh, – I would like to believe in humanity. I'm going to say they got a 1,000 of it. All right, Justin. What do you think they asked for for the Earth's purity natural hair growth oil and the word complete is supposed to be in there somewhere? See, this is where non-believers like Brian like to poison the well – and make it seem that it's a real easy venture to have hair growth oil out here for the paltry sum of $12,000. It's very, very, very clear that if you want to have a quality, non-chemical hair growth formula like they are asking for us to create, then you need at least $50,000. $50,000. And how much do you think that they have earned? I think they have earned eleven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they asked for seven thousand dollars, which is Brian's point, and earned literally zero dollars. Oh! Oh! oh, which is Justin's point. <laughs> wow, they went over goose eggs. <laughs> goose eggs. Wow. Not wow. even like a pity pledge. Not even a pity pledge. Like they didn't even. Alex they didn't even... don't have a mom. I know that <laughs> makes me sad. <laughs> Surely he, got he has a mom, but but you know this is she's like uh, oh, no again another another tincture. Oh, another, yeah. How uh, many? <laughs> you've made so yeah. It's like yeah, that's soft soap. You're putting soft soap in the glycerin and you're mixing in Windex. That's oh, not crap. a formula. Wait, they were from South Plus, Florida. I Those are chemicals. Them. Also, <laughs> also, you didn't clean up the kitchen last time you made a batch of this. Yes, <laughs> and which is ironic because you made it literally out of cleaning agents. You would yeah. think you would just rub it off the counter. Right. And now I have you to thank for this. And she releases just a Rapunzel level of hair from her armpit. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, don't put your hair growth formula in my shower. Look at this. I look like a Sasquatch. Ma. All right. Yeah. All right. Our next, uh, our next product is the cotton tea. The ti the titanium cotton swab. The titanium cotton Aww. swab. The swagger swab. <laughs> Gold cotton. What? Cotton T F is happening. <laughs> Nine carat gold Q tips. It is it's what the titanium in cotton swab. The fuck. The gift you give the man or woman that has everything. Oh my god. You better believe it. Keep scrolling, Bryce. Also, I'm, I'm getting this. Also, I would note that the cotton ends are still cotton. The ends of it are still one time use. So you're still throwing them away. <laughs> Uh, I believe we are at Justin to go first. Justin, how much do you think the cotton <laughs> tea, pee, the titanium cotton swab, asked and made? Number one, from the makers of the diamond tampon. <laughs> <laughs> and the uranium butt plug. <laughs> well, no, you actually reuse butt plugs. Well, right? I know, it's, but, but you, this gives you cancer. Oh, okay, Jeez. sorry. Yeah, I didn't. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking next level. <laughs> oh my god! It's like it's like uh, you know what makes people respect you when you beat cancer. <laughs> it's never mind. Right. Sorry, oh my stop. God. It's too god. terrible. It's terrible. Brian, the cotton T P, the titanium cotton. I'm saying it weird because it's spelled T I dash P. That's not a thing. How much do you think, Justin? <laughs> Hold on, wait. Can you imagine like a motivational speaker or like one of those like CEO training? <laughs> like a Tom Cruise in Magnolia up there in front of the Exactly. Just Lyson. like Steve Jobs. Legendary innovator. Stop. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill all of this. That bit Justin, is dead. We will number. not acknowledge that we ever said it. <laughs> Justin, Although me. I'm very happy that I now share the burden of blame. <laughs> well, what if he had lived? Welcome. <laughs> he would be your king now. <laughs> 
<laughs> but the first step is you have to get cancer. No, no. I'm hijacking this show. No more. <laughs> Mutiny. <laughs> Buddy, you want to do Night Attack for Yes. Dogs? <laughs> I'll make a guess. I say they're asking for 50000 and they got $100. <laughs> All right, 50000 and they got 100 <laughs> And you're looking at the answer over there. Yeah, so I, can't, can I shouldn't get play. <laughs> All right, let's see. How did Bonnie do? All right, Bonnie asked, said they asked for $50,000 and got $100. They asked $814. Oh. They asked for $814? <laughs> what? what? And have currently earned $331. All this right, is- play this video. We got to hear this. <laughs> what? This is- Note that this is from Banksy Buds. What? <laughs> you gotta watch this video. <laughs> this video is amazing. How do you reuse? You don't reuse. You, you don't. just throw away titanium. Yeah. These that- cost twelve dollars, <laughs> and that's the end of their video. <laughs> <laughs> for the video. They want eight hundred dollars so they can pay for the guy who made their video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the uh, the gold cotton the gold one costs uh, seventy five pounds. Wait, you know what's really funny about this is that they say on the package, never put these in your ears. That's what, and that's they what just I heard. showed him putting it in his ear. <laughs> now, it's very aware that Hold this up. is in the WTF Hold category. Up. What is this? What? What is, this is their own chart. <laughs> it shows uses of titanium, uh, worthy WTF, and uh, under their own category of WTF, they put toothpick, tweezers, spinning top, and then busting out like those are the nerds <laughs> of the WTF titanium world. It's like, and now the world's first titanium ear swab! No, no, Wait, no. So they, they very obviously, if they get funded, and they're not just robbing people for $814, are going like this is a this is a gag that they can run this for whatever they found somebody who would manufacture it. And they'll just manufacture what they sell, and that's dude, that's amazing. I want to get them, dude. People Someone are already, has already funding fled. it. It's all already gone up a little bit. Oh no! Well, I think that oh, that... it's asking for six hundred and sixty-six pounds. That's why it's weird. It's six hundred and sixty-six. Oh. oh, okay. Mm. I think that's a picture, not of it. I, I, I understood that. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Oh, Damn it. Yes, you and your gin understand that. <sighs> I think that was a picture of. Of the swab busting the tympanic membrane. membrane. Not the. Uh, Dude, nice where you busted out tympanic membrane. Hey. Well done. <laughs> All right, we got another one here. This is lore books. You might you might have heard about this. I think there's already a website that kind of does something like this. This is lore books, 3D virtual books. Lorebooks is a platform that allows writers to publish their work as mixed and virtual reality books. It transcend, transcends more traditional e-readers because it is not an e-reader. It is a V-reader. <sighs> the V-reader. We are seeing footage of them using on a, uh, uh, I believe this is a HoloLens? AR. Yeah. Augmented reality platform. Uh, but now... they are going to have VR and non-VR options. Now Brian's going to have oh. to redo his scam school books. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm morally opposed to this because I don't want to re- redo my book. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, j- uh, let's say, Brian, you'll go first. How much do you think they were asking for? Or lore books, 3D virtual books. God, I did, this just has clueless written all over it. So I'm going to say they're asking twenty five thousand dollars, and I'm going to say they've made one dollar. All right, Justin. Mm, I'm going to say that they are asking for thirteen thousand dollars, and they have gotten. Seventy-four dollars. <laughs> Lore Books 3D Virtual World is asking for ten thousand dollars. That's a point to Justin. Mm-hmm. And they have earned one thousand eighty-six dollars. What? That's point two for the J Man. Yeah, no. I get. Yeah, I gave a pretty Lore wide books. spread on that. Lore Books 3D mm. Virtual Books. 
I didn't tell you my funny Q-tip story. Oh, no, you didn't. But by all means, let's go back in. I mean, never, never leave a funny Q-tip story laying in the background of the podcast is our motto. We actually have it tattooed on our chests. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> by all means, Bonnie. So, by the way, you know that at some point, Brian was joking around this week on Twitter about like how at some point he's gonna have to get a tattoo because of the fandom of this show, and there's been a ma- including Scotty Emo, who, who has gotten an amazing Diamond Club tattoo on his arm. Uh, eventually, it's just going to be a dumb joke like that. It's going to be a dumb joke of like, well, it's going to be one of these episodes where I'm in Austin, and at some point, someone's going to be like, never leave a Q-tip joke behind, and that, that's how we're both going to have a Q-tip jokes always get in the podcast tattooed on us. Oh, would that be commitment to the bit or what? Oh, God. And you guys are committed to the bit. Here, here's a... Wait, wait, hold it, hold it. Oh. Hey, are you oh, trying sorry. to are you trying to leave a Q-tip <laughs> story? <laughs> sorry, I forgot the tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> what was I do I need to Here show you, Ryan? <laughs> All right, body, what? So I grew up in the Rio Grande Valley, where we have a lot of uh, winter Q-tips. Texans. Mm-hmm. Right, right, and then they go. Wait, you said winter Texans? Those winter are Texans, people who live up in the Northeast and come down because they're rich. Because they're rich, and they're usually old, and they don't like the cold. Mm. So, like most most of the time, you have like retirees. They some go to Florida, some come to the Rio Grande Valley. It's nice weather, and uh, anyways, they go south of the border, and. Uh, they get those illegal Q-tips. Yeah, they would, and then but they would be called Q-tips. Like the Hispanic people would call them Q-tips because they have white hair <laughs> and white oh, shoes. They would call <laughs> uh, those yeah, people. Yeah, in Spanish, which I don't know what it is, but like the winter Texans would be called Q-tips. Los Los Tipos Qs. <laughs> Maybe I just always thought that was kind of cute, you know, and also Q-tip. funny and kind of horrible. It's a Q-tip. <laughs> Those people. What? Did I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was about <laughs> it was about the winter Texans. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Uh, that you made them the other. <laughs> yeah, of, yes, yeah, right, yeah. I right. can do that, right? Got it. Because I'll be a Q tip one day. <laughs> okay. Brian. Yo, what's up? <laughs> I, 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 hey man, just between you and me, I was thinking about getting this tattoo removed. There's a laser face <laughs> down the way. Yeah, know what? yeah, it turns out you can. You can. It turns out it's better. It's better if you do. <laughs> I got a friend who can make it a tree. <laughs> make it a tree. <laughs> it's the worst tree of life, but you'll have a tree. All right, true story. So my buddy Anthony uh, had the dumbest. This tattoo on his arm has gone through so many dumb phases where uh, it was initially a shamrock with an Italian flag in the middle of it. (laughs) And then it just became a shamrock because, like, you know, nobody really got the metaphor, apparently, for the first one. And then eventually just turned into a Boba Fett in like an almost like uh, like Mexican like uh, uh, Dia uh, de los Muertos kind of like style or like reverie with like flowers holding and candles an around Itali- it. Was he holding an Italian shamrock? How how do you make a shamrock? No, but you can actually see you can see the shape of the shamrock like in the Mandalorian Merc uh, 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 helmet uh, like as. It uh, you know, is looking out into the Mexican wilderness. Oh, that's <laughs> oh man, that's amazing, dude. Uh, so that that tattoo that you just showed, Bryce, it says uh, no regrets, but regrets is misspelled. That that seems to me like something somebody would do intentionally. Right? Oh yeah, someone would definitely that's get a no regrets. Like, that's a that's a very funny, yeah. ironic thing. No yeah. regrets. No regrets. And that's why I don't do calligraphy. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through the piece, and you're like. Fuck! Yes, <laughs> every time. Do we want to do one last product for a thousand points? Yeah, no, no, no. For a all, all the marbles. points, marbles. All right, <clears throat> this is the Ubivade. <laughs> Ubivade. Ubivade. The first navigational system usable by each means of transport that will take you 
wherever you want without thinking about the route. Ubivade is a vibro, vibro tactile navigation belt that transmits information to the user by means of 16 vibrating motors. The type of vibration and where it happens on the belt tells the user oh where to go God, no. without distracting <laughs> visual or audio cues. It all goes to make for a more pleasurable travel experience. And yes, all of the people in this video, for some reason, are wearing white face, even though they are all white yeah, people. I, um... It is a belt that vibrates. Europe, Europe that's a Europe thing. It's, it's... So, or no, it's not. How does no, it, no, no, no. How does, Jose. It, how does it communicate, get on the bus and take it to the Queensbury stop? <laughs> how does it communicate, steal a bike? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just stole a bike in the video. Yeah. Oh, wait. Ubivade. Never get lost again. Oh, this one's definitely, uh, that's 150, no, 200,000. Okay. And they have raised 15,000. 80, 30. 80,000 ask, 30,000 so far. 80, 30? Mm hmm. You guys, Ubi Vade has asked for. Fifty-five thousand dollars. That's her, Brian, and has so far earned five thousand two hundred sixty-three. That's Justin, yeah. and for a score of a million to a million and two, Justin is our winner. Congratulations, sir. Give me the vapors. Mm. I mean, Brian. You just know. <laughs> just itches because they got it removed. <laughs> it's all scabbed over now. <laughs> I'm just going to pick out that. I don't want it to scar. You guys will get uh, a. Uh, quick quick question. Do you know what Bob Marley, Jack Lee, uh, Jackie Kennedy Onassis, and Gilda Radner have in common? They're all dead. They could have all been the greatest CEOs. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. This is terrible. <laughs> don't. No. No. Oh, no. No, shame. No, bad, Justin. Bad. <laughs> this was your idea. This I know. Was your but... idea. <laughs> hey, uh. <laughs> all of a sudden. Have a diamond in time. Yeah, no. Uh, I, all of a sudden, I'm hoping that they're all positive things in diamond time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if you go to Christ, diamondclub.reddit.com, we'll take a moment to shout out your projects. Just look at the sticky post right at the top of the subreddit, <clears throat> and we will read it just like this. Here, let's give a simulation of what it's like. Uh, Kev Bob writes, Hi, Diamond Club. I'm Kev Bob, and I've been working on the DC TV Android app. Ooh. It can list who's streaming and view the streams. I plan to make it more awesome, time permitting. It's in the Play Store under the name DC TV Android. Go to the link, yolo420.com slash Android. Let me know what you think, Kev Bob. Thank you, Kev Bob. Dude, that's awesome. Aww. Look at that, and it's got Andrew Zarian's pretty little face all over it. Check that out. Have you ever just looked at how immaculate Andrew Zarian's eyebrows are? <sighs> They're so He's, on he, point. He, uh, I, I'm beginning to think he's somebody that subscribes to the theory of taking care of his body. I call them oh. hygienians. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, a, like that. I've I, I've seen them. I've seen them in person. They're as impressive live as they are on tape, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, uh, hot beverages. Writes, hey, my friend Casey's working uh, to become a a Lou Larue consultant. Lou Larue is a clothing company to sell dresses, leggings, shirts, and other comfortable fashion clothing. I think it's Lou Larue. Looks like R O E. Lou Larue. LuLaRoe? Yeah, I think so. LuLaRoe. Uh, as a consultant, she'd be designing clothing to sell for the company. She is extremely skilled and talented, and I'd love to see her dream come true. In order to make her dream come true, though, she's running an Indiegogo to raise 7500 in order to make her initial inventory. While she is not Diamond Club, I want her to know how loving and supporting our community is. Any contribution would mean the world to me. That is DCTV dot link slash Casey clothes uh, and then uh, Indiegogo you can just suit uh, sorry search uh, 
Lou LaRue, L-U-L-A-R-O-E. And T2T2 writes in saying, hey, did you see the draft raptor take the stage in the winter movie draft? Yes, I did, and it was freaking amazing. Want to have your own for your draft? Yes, you do. Then head on over to github.com slash T2T2 slash draft raptor. Uh, you don't know servers, no problem. There's a one-click button you can use to deploy your own in the motherfucking cloud for free. Or, but, if you have the cloud to the butt extension. Uh, github.com slash t2t2 slash draft raptor if you missed it dude that was a fantastic draft for the winter movie draft and it was so much easier having that draft raptor running at all times you're able to see how much time you have to bid you're able to, to it, it was it was fucking great uh true story that was better than any fantasy draft experience i've ever had it was so like, easy, right? Like you had a handle. You weren't worried about. Uh, you were worried about playing the game and other people, not about uh, about the interface. By the way, like twenty four hours later, who do you like? And you know what? I don't know. I I took a I took a third of the movies, um, and so he, here's the only way I have a chance is I just bet on everybody not knowing. Not I figured. We didn't have a long time to build up and do a lot of research, so I just assumed people would overvalue the titles they recognized and undervalue the titles they didn't recognize. So I just bought everything. Which, which is normally good. Normally good in the winter movie draft, right? Except, like, we're just we're in, in this, this weird, weird phase right now where, like, post-Star uh, Wars, there's this, like, idea of, like, mm, yeah, Everything is normal winter movie draft, and then there's maybe a few gigantic summer movie level, like explosive elements there, right? Yes, yes. So, uh, if you missed it, uh, let's see, Brian, that's me. I got Arrival, Sing, Gold, Hidden Features, The Founder, Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage, 50 Shades Darker, John Wick, Chapter Two, and Logan. Of those, I think that my heavy hitters will be Logan and. Maybe, Fifty Shades, maybe Fifty Shades, uh, but but actually, I think Arrival, Arrival has the chance to be an Inception level event. Uh, oh no, that will not happen. Oh really? Uh, all right. No. Justin got uh, Inferno, Doctor Strange, uh, Allied, The Great Wall, and The Dark Tower. I hope Justin wins because The Dark Tower makes all the money in the universe. Uh, DTNS. I mean, got, really, I, I have the slate that you are personally rooting for the most, oh, right? Absolutely, no but, doubt but, about but, it. But, but like, but between Doctor Strange and The Dark Tower, that's like your favorite literary uh, uh, franchise, yep. right? And yep. One of your best friends, like personal career at stake. Yeah. Right? Oh, totally, totally. Uh, and then DTNS got trolls kidnapped. Rogue One. Resident Evil. That's like Rogue One alone might be the whole game. No, that's I mean, really, everybody's chances that are not DTNS begin with the sentence if Rogue One only does four hundred million dollars. Yeah. Because that's the only chance that anyone has. If Rogue One by itself does six hundred million dollars, it's over, dog. Well, I think, and this is the weird part, everybody's treating Rogue One as if it's a lesser Star Wars movie because it's not part of that main canon, but uh, I actually think that could be an opening spot. Like like we were talking to, to Bryce during mm -hmm. Court Killers where it's like, uh, Bryce, this is the first Star Wars movie where you don't have to know anything about any of the other movies. It is fully standalone. All you need to know is that it's a crazy sci-fi world where some people have laser swords, and then that's it. Because that's what uh, kind of took, turned me off about Episode Seven. Is right, that I it's, just don't know Star Wars very well. Uh, slash, no, at all. but I mean, like it still has Darth Vader and the Death Star and mm -hmm. like all these other things that people are like. I mean, because like I don't know where that line is of oh, okay, well this has things that I don't care about because I've seen them or I'm I'm aware of them and other things that I haven't seen yet. Like if they're marketing it as oh Darth Vader is going to come around and force choke people then does that make people not want to go see it compared to how they would otherwise like i don't know yeah i don't know bio cow makes the bold proclamation in the chat that rogue one's gonna get seven hundred thousand dollars easy i think he meant to put an m instead of a k yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, I, I I feel like, uh, and so to, just to round it out, uh, Mikey's got Bad Santa 2, Assassin's Creed, Why Him, Live by Night, Rings, the Lego Batman movie. Christy has Jack Reacher, Never Go Back, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and The Comedian. And uh, Malongo has Moana, Office Christmas Party, and Passengers. Man. What happened Mal to Malongo? Mal Malongo, who is maybe the most... Safe to say the most analytical player that oh, we've dude. ever had in yeah, the movie no, draft. The, right? the reason he joined us is because he would write these incredible breakdowns of who's smart, who's not smart, and whose movie's going to do the best. I, I I think it's one thing to know how well movies are going to do. It's another thing to play the the feral cat wrestling game that is the actual bidding in the moment. Well, and that's and that's the thing is like, you know, so uh, people made fun of me because I overbid for Doctor Strange at 60. But it's like I had to. You you needed a stud at some point, right? At, at some point, I need something that could make four hundred million dollars. And, you know, if, you know, Doctor Strange has a floor at, I think, you know, the, the second Thor movie, which was two hundred and twenty. Yeah. Uh, and. I'm bullish on it because, you know, listen, I, I watched a trailer in 3D and have told everybody that I've known about it. So, like, I am a 3D skeptic. That 3D trailer looked amazing. I think it's going to have word of mouth. But it's like, at the same time, in terms of that bidding process, either you're going to get what you want for any price you can get it for or you're not. And you end up with Moana office, uh, office Christmas party and passengers. Yeah, I'm not feeling real strong about Milongo's chances, but I am feeling very strongly that any minute, if you go to draft.diamondclubtv slash form, you'll be able oh, to yeah. make your own chat realm league at the prices that we set. Uh, we, it's not uh, quite up and running yet. Uh, we're waiting on something from Dan. Got it. Once T2T2 T2 T2 gets that, it'll be up and running. So uh, we thought it would be today, hopefully in the next couple of days. Uh, but that's where it's going to be, draft.diamondclub.tv slash form. Right yeah, uh, uh, do me a favor, uh, T2, just email me what you need from Dan, and I will forward that. Cool. <laughs> Mitzula has a new Vegas line. Will Malango win the draft? No, negative all the money. Yes, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> um, uh, we don't have a movie draft minute, do we? Uh, we don't because no movies have come out yet. Oh, that's right. Uh, but look forward to that uh, as well. Although, although uh, yeah, this weekend we'll we'll have the first one, right? Because uh, Inferno comes out this weekend. I'm glad. I'm glad we were able to sneak that in in time, dude. Um, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you're back home and getting cozy. Uh, did it feel good to you know get back home and and just be done with? Uh, I mean, not that it wasn't a delight to be on the road and stuff, but. Oh God, Christ! Yeah, no, absolutely. Like it, it's it's good. I spent the last like two days. We were joking today while we were trying to like plan the show. Um, that like really all of my personal stories are like, hey, when you go running for the first time in two weeks, your knees hurt. <laughs> hey, comedy, lol. Somebody say the c word. Yeah, it's, uh, uh... but it's like yeah, no, it, it's it's just great to be back in that like. There's a timetable and you do this and then you do that and you like, you know, and I can sit down here and aside from our technical problems today, like it's it just like it's makes life. Oh, God, so much easier. Yeah. No, um, <clears throat> I. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I just realized there's things I want to say that I told people I wouldn't say. So I'm going to talk about something else. Uh, yeah, no, I'm working out again and it feels good to finally get them back in shape. And that's nice. Yeah, man. Well, I'll tell you what. What do you say we wrap it up and have a fun little after show? Yeah. Oh, that's right. In the after show. By the way, real quick, uh, Patreons, Patreon supporters, they get the pre-show and the post-show. And uh, and are we as able to... RSS feed. As an RSS feed, right? It is an RSS feed. Yep. So if you don't know, like some of the funniest shit that happens happens before and after the show. So it's like double the show in your own private RSS feed that you'll get if you join us at a dollar uh, an episode. Twice the show twice the show you're gonna love it yeah and uh yeah i mean that's that's all all true you could pretend like you'll get around to watching it on youtube but you won't you won't or you could be with us you could have us with you twice as long hey tom deloise 
just Babe Ruth, Carl Sagan. Oh, no, okay. Good night. All right, we're done. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Drink a Die in a fire. Of <laughs> See you next Tuesday. That's your line, Justin. See you next night Tuesday. Attack, <laughs> Sorry, I was laughing. Night attack. <laughs> night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack, I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>